Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfat. As a result of the directives of His Majesty the King regarding the development of a strategic project for national food production, the Kingdom of Bahrain ranked fifth in the Arab world in the Food Security Index and 43rd globally with a score of 66.5 according to the latest data of the Economist Impact Global Food Security Index, GFSI, for the year 2021. The GFSI takes into account the affordability issues of several measures, namely the cost of food, availability, quality, safety safety, natural resources and resilience in 113 world countries. His Majesty the King gives considerable attention to food security, as his speeches always focus on strengthening and securing national food security, as he directed during the opening of the second session of the fifth legislative term of the Shura and Representatives Councils in October 2019 to develop a strategic project for national food production. An implementation of the royal directives and the aspirations of the government headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, the Kingdom of Bahrain has worked to develop national capabilities in the field of food industries and provide investment opportunities in this sector by establishing a strong infrastructure for food security in the kingdom that has led to raising the production of local production and securing a strategic stockpile of food security. Bahrain's rank reflects the positive strategic dimension of the distinguished efforts made by various government agencies to develop work in the field of food security through the launch of many agricultural initiatives, the most recent of which was the launch of the initiative to enhance fish stocks by launching a 100,000 locally farmed fish, encourage investment in the field of advanced agriculture, and strengthen partnership with international organizations as well as food security and control in order to raise self-sufficiency. The Shura Council held its weekly session presided over by its chairman Ali al Saleh. The council approved Decree by Law No. 15 of 2021 on external auditors, which aims to develop the accounting profession and encourage qualified Bahrainis to practice it. The council also approved a draft law amending Article 5 of the Building Permit Regulations Law, which requires the submission of an inspection certificate for the soil on which the building will be constructed while applying for a building permit. The Ministry of Education affirmed that the number of times the educational portal was used has reached over 128 million since the outbreak of the coronavirus pandemic until the beginning of this month. The Ministry of Education asserted that the conditions of the pandemic highlighted the importance of His Majesty the King's project for future schools, the digital empowerment program in education and the effective digital programs and tools that it includes, the most important of which is the educational portal, which was one of the main platforms that contribute to the sustainability of education for all grade levels. The Ministry noted that this advanced portal has improved the educational field and the distance learning process with its diverse digital content, including 415 books, 1,144 learning units and around 7,000 model lessons. The National Initiative for Agricultural Development, the NIAD, in cooperation with the Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning and the Supreme Council for the Environment, planted trees along Umm al Hassan Walkway in Manama with the participation of students from Al Hikmah International School. The initiative was part of the Forever Green campaign to expand green areas in Bahrain and contribute to the fight against climate change. The ambitious campaign launched by NIAD has received generous support from the private sector in a demonstration of the robust partnership among all components of the Bahraini community. Al Hikma School was keen to involve students in the Forever Green campaign and to strengthen the values of citizenship by urging students to plant trees and protect the environment, which creates a conscious generation that seeks to achieve the kingdom's environmental goals. During the event, Al Hikma students reviewed the Cocoon project that aims to improve the environment in line with the goals of sustainable development and the Bahrain economic vision. The Deputy Chairman of the Board of Trustees and Executive Director of Isa Cultural Center, Dr. Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, inaugurated the fifth edition of the Bahrain Cinema Festival, made with passion. More in this report. 
Bahraini Film Festival became a major component of the cultural scene in the Kingdom of Bahrain over the past years, giving the ideal and distinctive image of culture and artistic diversity in the Kingdom, through its contribution to revitalizing the cultural and cinematic scene, and developing and supporting efforts and creativity. The festival gave opportunities for beginners and professionals in the field of filmmaking to seize an important and inspiring opportunity by hosting a number of artists, directors and intellectuals from Bahrain and the Arabian Gulf. The pioneers of Bahraini cinema had a clear imprint on the Distinguished Cinematic March, where the director Khalifa Shaheen Khalfan, who is considered one of the first directors in the Arab Gulf, was honored, as well as the writer Amin Saleh, the poet and writer Ali Shargawi, in honor of them and the celebration of what this constellation provided in this field. At the end of the ceremony, the festival's jury announced the results of the qualifying and award-winning films, where the film Al Bahar won the first prize, and the movie A Shoe That Gets Smaller Every Night won the second prize, while the third prize was won by the film Peace. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,233,644 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,217,557 had taken the second, and 976,735 had taken the booster dose. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. And the Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 4,616 with, with 695 recoveries, 397 registered new cases and no deaths. There are 12 active cases receiving treatment and 4 patients in critical condition. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for combating the coronavirus.